At the beginning of this year, I was looking for new ways to unwind at the end of the day so I could unplug from all my work and relax properly before going to sleep at night. I've always heard that the most successful people in life like to read a lot, so I decided to start reading at night before going to sleep for about a half hour or so. I had no idea that this decision would change my life. I've been reading new books every single month and I can't describe in words how much knowledge I've gained through reading books this year. But there was this problem I started to face with my passion for reading. Based Basically, once I finished reading a book and read a new book, I would forget everything from the first book. I needed a way to retain all the information and knowledge that I was gaining from reading. So naturally speaking, I got myself a pen and a notebook and started taking notes as I was reading. And it was really great writing all these notes down. I tend to remember things better when I write them down. And I was filling up these notebooks with all of this insight from all the books I was reading. But then another problem came up. Writing notes in a notebook is annoying, especially at night when you want to go to sleep sleep and just unwind, the last thing you want to do is have more work to write notes in a notebook when you're reading a book that you really love to read. So with that, I decided to buy a Kindle. And this Kindle investment was one of the best things I got this year. It has solved most of my problems, not quite all of them. It does make it a lot easier to take notes while you're reading. There's no notebook involved. There's no pen involved. You can easily highlight and take notes with your finger. And all your notes are accessible as long as you have the Kindle app on your phone or your computer. You could go anywhere in the world and all your notes will come with you. That is something you'll never get with physical books. But even with my Kindle, there were still a few problems. The first part is actually getting to your notes in the Kindle app. It's not as easy as it should be. You have to go through a few menus and you have to go through all these different apps. It's not as easy as opening a notebook and flipping through your pages of notes. There is some friction involved going into the app. And then secondly, retaining information through Kindle notes is nowhere near as good as writing things down. Digital notes are more convenient, but they're not near as good for memorizing things and remembering things as writing in a notebook. So with that, I was basically on the hunt to find a solution that took the best of both worlds from writing in a notebook, but also the convenience of having digital notes. And I'm so happy that I found something that solves all these problems. And it's actually even one step farther. It automates everything. So everything ends up exactly where it needs to be with no manual work involved. Now, before showing you my system really quickly, my name is Manith Paul Singh. I make videos every single week about technology and how to use it to improve your life. Today, I'll be showing you exactly how I use my system for taking notes while reading on a Kindle. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you'll obviously need is a Kindle. I have a whole video dedicated to showing you the advantages of having a Kindle over physical books. I will leave it at that. But long story short, having a Kindle just makes life so much easier in terms of functionality. I strongly recommend investing in one if you read a lot. Once you have your Kindle, you now have access to the infamous highlight feature. You can simply press and hold and drag and highlight any sentence or paragraph that you want. You can even add a little note alongside your highlight by using the on-screen keyboard. I wanna encourage you to highlight as much as you want. I know we could sometimes get into the habit of deciding whether something is worth highlighting or not. I am trying my best to keep it as simple as I can. If something stands out to me, I just highlight it without thinking twice at this point. With that being said though, if you're highlighting something, I also wanna encourage you to use the note feature as well and leave a short note along alongside your highlight. Usually if you're highlighting something, it means something stands out to you. Something is standing out and it seems important. And if you have something in your mind, an idea or a thought that comes across in relation to what you're highlighting, you wanna capture that. Write that down in the note. It could be as short as one sentence, just so you could remember what you were thinking when you highlighted that thing. All right, this is where things get interesting now. Most people who have Kindles stop here. You kind of highlight a bunch of notes and you have all these notes that you've taken, but you never go back to look at them. The next step is super important and that's where all the magic happens. There's a service online called Readwise. If you are a Kindle reader, having Readwise is absolutely essential to make sure you have your notes readily available to you. What Readwise does is actually connects to your Kindle and syncs all your highlight information into the Readwise app. And then the app will actually email you every single day five random highlights from all the books that you've read. This daily email is absolutely amazing. It allows me to recall information that I've read from months ago and I just keep remembering it because it keeps sending me new emails every single day. And the fact that they email it to you removes any sort of friction from you having to go back into your notes and manually reviewing all your data. It just sends it to you automatically every single day, no questions asked. Now on top of that daily email, Readwise actually connects to a bunch of different 
different note-taking apps. I personally use Notion as my second brain to just keep all my notes and data. So I connected my Readwise to my Notion and I have all my Kindle highlights syncing into a database in my Notion workspace. I can't emphasize enough how amazing and important this is. Once all your data is in Notion, it is so nicely formatted. The title comes in, the author comes in, a little picture of the book cover comes in, and all your highlights come in in a nicely formatted document. It even has little links that open up the Kindle app and bring you to the exact location of the highlight. Once I had this database in my Notion workspace, the possibilities were endless. What I ended up doing was creating a second simple database called Bookshelf. The reason why I created a Bookshelf database is so I could add a few extra properties for things I wanted to track in addition to the stuff Readwise is bringing in. For example, once I finish a book, I always like giving it a rating so I have that track of how good the book was in my opinion. I also add a start date and an end date so I can see how long it took to read the book. And I also add some tags so I know what the book was all about and find other similar books that I've read that relate to the same topics. Then lastly, I actually link the database from Readwise to the note that I just made here. And one more small thing that I decided to do on top of this was create a small template for when I finished reading a book. I just summarize the book in a few sentences and also write down my five top takeaways from the book. It's a great way to have some closure before moving on to the next book. So that's essentially it. Let me do a quick recap here. Every night I read on my Kindle. There's no notebook involved, there's no pen involved. I just read and highlight with my finger. I add in a few short notes and all those highlights and notes will automatically sync up with my Readwise. Readwise will send me a daily email every single morning, which I read with my morning coffee. On top of that daily email, Readwise is also syncing up all my notes and highlights to my Notion workspace. And in there, I can always go back and add things like my ratings, tags, and key takeaways. This system is so simple Simple. It allows me to read every single night with no pressure at all to write anything down in a physical book, but it also automatically sends me all my notes so I am constantly reviewing everything so I don't forget all the amazing knowledge I've learned in previous books. If you're interested in the Readwise app, I'll leave a link for it down below. It is a paid subscription service. I want to recommend it though. It's totally worth it if you have a Kindle. In the description below, I have a link that'll allow you to have a free month when you try it out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this system or if you have your own system. I would love to hear about that too. I'll see you guys next time.